everybody. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always asking me about FBG Duck. I didn't spoke on him a lot. I actually went to his crime scene where he ended up losing his life. I think he was very influential in the drill movement. I always tell people this shit here. FBG Duck was as big as Chief Keith in the streets. Chief Keith was big in the industry. Don't get me wrong, he was big in the streets with the movement, but Ducknam had that same kind of impact as Chief Keith, just not in the music industry. You get what I'm saying? I always say he's one of the only artists I seen that kind of blew up out of this drill shit without any world star reposts, any shade room reposts, any ball alert reposts. This guy strictly did it him dependent. Not M dependent, not independent, I mean him dependent, his damn self, you know. One thing I'm going to say about his death, it was really, really heinous because we all got a chance to see it. The video, the footage ended up leaking on the internet. That shit was horrible as hell. Um, I'm not going to lie. I just wish Duck would have realized that, you know, it was very dangerous in that city for him. One day he was beefing with niggas, man, on some upcoming shit. They was in the streets warring, beefing. He went to sleep and woke up and all his ops was rich. That shit became dangerous for him, man. On some real shit. One thing I can say about Duck, though, you never seen them sell his soul, man. He never sold out for the music industry, man. I never really seen them dissing his homeboys and shit like that. I seen them in a little war words with Rico Reckless, but Rico started getting down with the smoking Tuki and shit. I'm not saying niggas ain't irritate Rico, but it was a situation now. You can tell it wasn't really that, 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 that big. You can tell they knew each other, so. But it was a situation. I also seen Tim and Lil J kind of get in a situation. I don't know if it was that serious. I think those was brothers speaking out because one brother was in jail and felt some type of way. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. But I never really seen Duck throwing his homeboys under the bus, uh, selling his soul for this music industry. He actually stayed out here when he was very fully capable of leaving. He was in the music industry. He had fans. He even sounded like a little distribution deal. He had some money. He could have easily, but he chose to stay because everybody wasn't like him. I understand that to a certain point. A lot of people say, man, Big Clout shouldn't been lacking. Let's be honest. What happened if Big Clout wasn't cool? But he clearly wasn't lacking. You know, he was on point. He spotted his killers. They didn't just creep up on him and he didn't know it. He spotted them. He did make a mistake by not just coming out of the run, the first store and getting the fuck on and just leaving. But I guess he knew something was going on. They were probably following him or something. I think that's why he went back in front of another store. They had a lot of people out there or maybe people in the shopping center he felt was safe. I don't know. This is all speculation. But he was on point. People returned fire, you know. So I can't just say Duck was caught, caught, caught lacking. But I can say he was spotted. And, you know, he ended up losing his life due to the gun violence. It said... I hear a lot about the killers. Is the killers going to get caught? Uh, is they going to get away with this? Sometimes I feel like it's going to be hard to uh, end this case because people don't really want to tell. I say this all the time. The police not finna move you to no good community. They're not finna give you a job paying you $75,000 a year, free babysitting, make sure your rent pay, your utility pay, get you far from the place where you just told on them niggas that they ain't finna do that. People already know if you tell the snitch and go in the courtroom and point somebody out, all the police going to say, I don't worry about it. We're going to keep you safe. Man, them people going to come in there. They're going to blink your ass up. And people know that. So that's why ain't nobody going to tell. That's why I feel like this case might not get solved. It was downtown. People don't know those niggas. Them niggas had hoodies, hats, all kind of shit. People don't know who the shooters was. Yeah, they might got a car. They might got a license place. But that was probably a throwaway car steamer. People don't really know. The video. Yeah, they probably got a video. But like I told you before, the video probably got people with hoodies on like this, face tied up tight. With, you know what I'm saying? The police don't know who the fuck this is. Do you get what I'm saying? They don't have nobody who's going to come in and pinpoint somebody in a, a lineup, eyewitness testimony, DNA evidence. So I feel like this is going to be a hard case to solve. Then again, I hear from a lot of close people to the situation. They tell me people have been brought in for this question about this murder. That the police know exactly what's going on. That this case is close to being solved. His mother going hard. Look like she wants justice and she ain't going to stop for it. So sometimes I feel like this shit going to get solved. Sometimes I don't feel like it's going to get solved. Crazy. That's why I want to ask you guys on some real shit. In your opinion. With everything you know about. The cameras. The everything. Do you think FBG Duck case is eventually going to get solved? Or do you think this is going to stay a cold case? 
Leave your comment. I'd love to know what you think. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Blah, blah, blah.